Hi, I'm Tom Stewart with Cleaning Business Today. Last month we showed how you can use the 12-month moving average to take seasonality out of your key performance indicators. Here's a graph showing how numbers would fluctuate from month to month, but if I do a 12-month moving average, I can actually get a trend line. If you want to see how to do this particular project, go back to last month's KPI. Since then, the question came up of what do I do with metrics that I want to track on a, on a more frequent basis? Or what do I do during the holiday season when I've got a lot of uh, days off and there's, a, there's a, a lot more disruption? You can use this exact same technique to do a 52-week moving average, which would give you more control and give you uh, uh, more exact data that you can make week-to-week -week decisions. Here's an example of how that would work. I took last month's numbers instead of doing it on a monthly basis, graphed them on a weekly basis, and it looks like this. Same trend line when you just do it a week-to-week -week basis, the numbers are flying all over the place. To do the 52-week moving average, you use the exact same technique. I need historical data to start with, so I've got uh, 2012 numbers here. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to sum up my revenue numbers from last year, starting with uh, January of this year going all the way back to week two of last year. Those are 52 weeks I'm adding up. I'm going to now take that number and divide it by 52 to get my average. And that's my number that I'm going to be graphing. And I'm going to drag that all the way down. I'll take this through the month of October. And when I do that, I get a graph that looks like this, which shows a trend line going up. Same trend line that we saw last month, but now it's on a month, um, excuse me, a week to week basis. Use this technique to drive sales numbers. Use this technique to manage around the holiday seasons when things are a little more dynamic. This is a really cool tool when you want to provide information to your staff that you're trying to, to drive numbers on a week to week basis. I hope you found this KPI tip useful. Thank you for watching Cleaning Business today.